Hello my beauties, my name is Sheena and welcome to my very first YouTube video. First I'm going over what I'll be using. So I'm using this Young Nails Protein Bond and Model 1 City Hydrator. Base and top coat from Macart. This super cute unicorn nail brush for any dust. I'll also be using this Macart Poly Gel brush with your standard spatula on one end and brush on the other. Macart's hand file which is 180 grit and six different poly gels all from Macart. The top three are Iris, Daisy, and Marigold from the House of Flores kit, blue number 921, clear and wilted from the Life of a Rose kit. These colored rhinestones and this rhinestone picker to apply them. A rainbow tiger print foil with Macart's nail foil glue. And let's get into the set. So first things first, you would wanna take a cuticle pusher and lightly push back the cuticles. Next, I'm going in with this needle drill bit to remove any dead skin that may be around the cuticle. This is a really important step um, because when you remove the dead skin, it does prevent lifting. Then I'm gonna go in with this fine grit sanding band and just rough up my nails, my natural nails, so that the product holds a little better. I apologize for being out of frame, but as I stated, this is my first video and I wasn't aware, but you can see what I do on my pinky. I like to use these Kiara Sky Long Coffin Full Cover Gel Tips. And once I have them all sized out to fit my fingers, I do take my e file and go ahead and etch into the inside of the nail. This also adds better hold for your nails. You can do this with a hand file if you don't have an e-file or you can also use your primer and etch the inside of the nails but I do go ahead and do this for each nail. Next, I'm taking the Model 1 Dehydrator and I'm just applying that to all my nails. After I apply the dehydrator, I then go in with two coats of the Young Nails Protein Bond. I only show one coat on camera and do the other one off, but when I tell you that Protein Bond is the truth, it is the truth. Absolutely no lifting once your prep is done right. So I didn't put it on frame, but I did go in with base coat on all my nails and then went ahead and applied, cured that for 60 seconds. Now I'm going in with a bead of poly gel and I'm going to pat that into place on each nail well and apply it to the nail very gently, cleaning the cuticle area and then straightening everything out to cure for 60 seconds for the application of the nail tips. Once I get all the nails done, this is the finished product. Then I do go in with this, the hand file and I just file off that extra piece of plastic on the end of the tip just to make it a little smoother there. I then take my fine sanding band again and I rough up the tips so that the product has something to hold on to. Then I go in with base coat on all the nails and cure for 60 seconds before the application of the poly gel. So in this next clip, I am missing a whole part, not real sure what happened there, but nonetheless, all I did was take a bead of iris, that purple color, diagonally onto the nail and I patted it into place until I was satisfied and then went ahead and cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm going in with wilted at the top doing the exact same thing just patting and molding it into shape until I'm satisfied and I will then cure this as well for 60 seconds in my lamp. If you're watching thus far I do want to say thank you very much for joining with me on my first YouTube video. I hope that you consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would be greatly appreciated. 
So on my ring finger, I do the same thing. I take iris first and I go diagonally onto the nail, patting it into place until I'm satisfied. But I do do it a little thinner, being that I'm going to use all five colors in the order of iris, wilted, blue number 921, marigold, and then daisy on the tip. One thing that I absolutely love about poly gel is you have the ability to just take your time and mold that nail into perfection before anything is set into stone because nothing is set with poly gel until it does cure under the lamp. Um, also, I did forget to mention that I am using 70% alcohol for my slip solution, um, which is helping to glide the nail and shape the nail. So I also want to see what you as subscribers would like to see in the future um, as far as video goes. I've done a little bit of everything, but I mean, I'll do requests as well. And then I kind of want to do a little icebreaker for those of you that are interested in my channel. Um, make it a little fun each time I do a set. Um, but what, before I get into that, what you see me doing on my ring finger, I also do the exact same thing on my thumb. Um, but for an ice, icebreaker in this video, if you're still with me, I would like to know where you're from and what your favorite color is. And you can also comment maybe on what you want to see in the future because I already have a few videos coming up, but what you want to see in the future as well. So with my YouTube channel, I'm just looking to have fun, create my own YouTube family, just have good vibes. I am a beginner, I'm self-taught, I'm still learning, so I'm just looking to grow and continue to do what I love and enjoy doing, and that's my nails. So here on my pinky, I do the same thing, but I'm going in with marigold and daisy. Um, and I do go ahead and do the same thing as far as positioning it diagonally. I pat both separately into place until I am happy. And I do cure them both under the lamp for 60 seconds a piece. Uh, poly gel is my go-to. Um, I will from time to time uh, dabble with acrylic, but I absolutely love poly gel and it will be my main content on this channel. So next on my middle finger, I do go in with that nail foil glue from a cart and apply a thin, even layer. Once I've applied the layer, I do cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. Before applying the foil, I do wait an extra 30 seconds and then I just place it on the nail and I normally use my cuticle pusher and my finger and just push it and rub it into place until I feel like it's ready to come up. You normally can tell because the sides do actually start to lift when it's ready. Next, I am capping the nails with clear poly gel. I do take a generous amount and go over each nail, just patting it down into place on the nails. And so I am happy. I do two nails at a time, curing them at 60 seconds.
Once I do cap all the nails with the clear poly gel, I do file shape and buff off the camera and this is the finished look. I then go in with some rhinestone glue and without curing I also add top coat to secure my stones. I'm not sure where that footage went um, but I thought I was recording but that's basically what I did here. So for my index finger I did go in with the rhinestones that coincide with the colors on the nail so fuchsia and purple are the colors that I used for this index finger. For the ring finger, I did use the stones as well that coincide. Here you can see me applying the rhinestone glue and then I'll go ahead and top coat it as well, like I said, without curing. And I go in with the rhinestones here as well that coincide. So I'll be using every color, fuchsia, purple, light blue, orange, and lime green. On my pinky, I do do the same thing as far as the colors go with the rhinestones. So I, on that finger, I would only use orange and lime green. So lastly, I'll go ahead and top coat all the nails, get them all shiny and cute or whatever. And um, I do also apply cuticle oil off camera as well. I'm not sure where that footage went either. But going forward, I'll do a little better as far as editing goes. I got to get used to that. And here's the finished product. I absolutely love experimenting with poly gel. This set was fun. Um, I'm looking forward to making more videos and doing different things. Here's an outside view of the nails, and if you've made it this far, thank you very much for taking your time out to watch my video. I hope you consider subscribing. Please like, comment, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss a set. I appreciate you. Much love.